Hello and uh, welcome to Saki Tech. So in today's video, I'm going to do a review of a note taken application for the iPad. The name of this application is called uh, Notability. It's usually uh, five dollars, but every now and then you get it on sale for two bucks, maybe three dollars. So keep an eye out for it. Uh, let's go into the details real quick um, of this app. Okay, so let's go go ahead and launch it first. <clears throat> when you buy it and first launch it, you may see a tutorial window. But after that, I just cleared everything out. So this is um, your categories and your subjects, and this is the note taken area, for at least you know in this um, main menu. So what this note can do, what this app can do, it can do handwriting, it can do PDF annotations. So you can import a PDF file and just take annotations on it. You know, take notes. Um, you can do typing, you can do sound recording, and the, one of the good things is you can do very powerful organizing using this um, application. So let's create a couple notes, a couple categories, and a couple subjects and make sense of what I can do here. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a note. So tap this area, and then you come to the note section. And um, Okay. So this is the uh, the um, the title of your note. So I'm going to change that. By default, it's the date of today. So let's just do test and click done. So the name of your uh, note right now is test. Uh, <clears throat> one of the basic things I do want to review about this application is the way you can take your notes. So you choose the pen that you want to use. You know, I have the red click right now and uh, I have I'm gonna do the thin one and I'm gonna choose this size right here so it's red color a certain size and I'm gonna write something I'm gonna do handwriting uh, you can do handwriting anywhere like this but as you know you cannot really write small stuff accurately so if I want to do a signature I have to write a big signature if I try to make a tiny little signature you know I can't just unless I have fingers as thin as a little pencil I cannot do anything so <clears throat> what they have done is they have added a zoom window if you look at the bottom here there's a little zoom window that you can click and this makes handwriting a breeze so you get this window right here that you can put anywhere where you want to handwrite so let's say I want to handwrite right here and you can start handwriting in this window and what you write here is going to show up right here so let's um, say today is a good day so today is and then as you run out of space you just gotta tap right there and it moves next I accidentally put a line there but today is a good day okay and it's actually automatic so if you don't have enough space let's go like this if I put a line if I wrote out till here and I didn't have any space automatically skips to the next section so this uh, usually is impossible for me to do on the iPad without the zoom window so this is what I like about taking notes the other features that I like about taking notes you can always type so if you want to type just press T and then tap anywhere and you can just start typing as you can see right there okay so that's not a big deal uh, you can hide the keyboard like that so that's for writing that's for highlighting, so you can highlight if you have to. Um, that's good for PDFs. You can import a PDF file and just highlight whatever you want. And then you have the eraser. And then you have the scissors where you can cut an area. You can move it around or you can just get rid of it. Okay. And the other thing that I really like is how you can change the structure of the page. So if you click this here, actually it's not right here. Um, okay that option is not here but this is the voice recording so if I press this now I can start recording voice stop um, adding shapes is a big thing so you can add figures choose a figure you want you want a square done and you can put this anywhere you want okay so now it's stuck there delete okay whatever so add another figure 
um, a line. Oops, I'll just do it this way. Okay, so you can resize this. You can put it right here. Okay, and just to show you how you can create a flow chart, let's do a circle. And then you can put the circle right here. Okay, minimize the size a little bit. There you go. So that points to this. The way you do is you go to plus, you click figure, and from here you want you choose the figure that you want. So get rid of that. So that is the uh, note taken application, and I especially love it because of this window. So you can type anything here; it shows up right there. Well, you gotta get this. Okay, there you go. So that's my signature. Let's assume. Uh, go back. The next thing I want to show you guys is how to categorize and put subjects. Uh, so this test uh, title could be under biology subject. But then you also need a category. So you can have categories. Okay, let's put it this way. You can have a category as in school, work, and, um, you know, pleasure. So under school, if you want to sort all your notes under the biology subject then you can have a biology subject so let's just do an example here so when you want to add a category or a subject you click the plus symbol plus symbol in the home page here so plus you pick subject or category let's do a category let's do cat one so that's category number one let's do another category oops plus category two and now let's create um, two subjects. Well, two subjects. Okay, so let's do subject, test one, and then plus test two. Okay, now the test one and test two, uh, by default, when under the category two, you can take them and put them anywhere you want. I'm going to show you that in a second. Uh, before we do any of that, let's do it this way. Let's... um. Okay. Let's click all here, so that shows all your notes. And let's say I want to put this test title, this uh, note, under the category 2, test 1. All I have to do is click on the actual picture of the note and drag and drop it on that red subject. Um, yeah, that's the subject. So now test is under test one subject. So that could have been biology, but we're just using examples here. So let's say I want to put test one under category number one. How do I do that? That's very easy also. You click edit. To make moves here, you have to click edit here. So you grab the note from here and you take it up and put it under category one. Other things you can do with these things, as you can see, is have different colors for subjects. So Taps test number one could be a green subject for me. You can also change the name. So test number one, new name. So you're not stuck with it. Everything is editable. So now I have a perfectly categorized notes. And I really like this. So you can have a category for school. Under school, you can have different subjects. Biology, chemistry, physics, math, whatever. You can have a work and you can have different projects as subjects under your work category or pleasure. Um, but this is pretty much all there is to this application. It seems like it's not a lot, but it's actually a lot. Um, by the way, when you're done with uh, moving categories around and subjects around, just click done. Okay. Now, if you want to delete anything, category, subject, or note, all you have to do is swipe over it to the left and then click delete, it's gone. So let's delete this test two subject right here. Delete, are you sure? Yep, gone. And then just one thing in the notes application is that um, you can record your voice if you have to by clicking that button and when you're done just press stop. So click that, it's recording now. Stop, recording is over. You can also um, import pictures. Well, I'm not gonna allow it right now to your um, notes from your photos. Uh, you can take a photo on the go, you can put figures, you can do web clips, 
and then you can have little stickies also so blank little sticky see so this is a perfect little note to take an application okay so that brings us to the end of this um, uh, review walkthrough whatever you want to call it if you like this video just click the like button subscribe to the channel for more videos to come and thank you for watching this video have a good day guys